Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. So I'm all suited up to go for a ride. So I'll be joining Gulu today again, and with a couple of other friends, uh, we have Maruf, and uh, we'll be going out. So you'll be seeing the Z800. You'll be seeing the Hayabusa, which is right here, and we have the Dominor. Yes, I got my hands on a Dominor. So I'll be showing you a little more of this bike today. <laughs> Let me just turn it around for you. So this is the Dominor. Uh, again. Got ABS, uh, very good thing that these guys have done by putting up ABS on this bike. <clears throat> I love the exhaust. Uh, let's look at the bike a little more after we go to the place. I don't want to delay my ride, uh, but just looking at it in the first go, it's it's really beautiful. Really like the way the startup happens. Uh, this bike's gone 333. Wow, that's quite a lot of kilometers for just three days. Uh, quite a lot of kilometers for a bike in just three days but then since we got the Domino we have just been riding and riding on it uh, so I'm going to ride this let's head out and I'm going to ride it I'm going to let you guys know my opinion I mean my opinion on how the bike feels after driving a Hayabusa so I know you guys are going to hit this that I'm comparing my experience with Hayabusa and my experience with a Domino but then come on I I can't help it right because you use a booza and then you're going to go to any other bike. You just, you're just going to be opinionated. Up. It's nice. It's very smooth. Yes. Very smooth for a bajaj. Surprising. Let me park it and park. Last, last. So here is Harish, so normally he rides that bike and today he thought he will try the Dominar, just wanted to see like what, how the Dominar is. So Harish, what do you think about the bike? Uh, it's a nice bike for the price that they are offering, uh -huh. I love the features that they have, the gears are really smooth, uh -huh. uh, at about 4,500-5,000 you are able to cruise at about 100 km speed. Which mm -hmm. is very surprising because when you normally look at the other 390, 400cc bikes, they're typically a six, seven thousand RPM to hit a hundred kilometer mm -hmm. speed mark. Mm -hmm. uh, so the lower RPM, higher speed means it's going to give you better high speed mileage. So that's something that I like about the bike. The brakes are really nice; they feel crisp, uh, and I like the gear shifting. Okay, so it just goes click, click, and then it uh, goes through very smoothly to the next gear. The only uh, thing that I felt was a little underpowered maybe because I ride that and then I'm riding this. That's true. So you feel Obviously 1300cc and 400cc yeah. there is a hell lot of difference. It's like 900cc difference makes me feel that but uh, it's extremely light again mm. that's like 230 kilos right? <laughs> so and this is I think 180 so uh. I feel this is really light and nice right it's a sweet spot. Maybe it's a good bike. Uh, this is definitely going to be a good bike if you're going to go to office every day and come back. Correct. You want something peppy sporty. Uh, but you don't have a budget for the Duke 390, uh, you can go in for this one. So that's what I would suggest from okay. my perspective. That's true. So how do you feel uh, on highway? I, you also rode it from the highway, right? Yeah, uh, on the highway, it was very yeah. smooth. I was on the sixth gear cruising 4000 RPM. Okay. I was able to do about 100. Okay. I kept it at 80 because of the speed limit restrictions that are there. Yeah. I think there's one point where I was able to, didn't realize and we were at 100, so I had to slow down. Okay. The brakes, I really like the brakes because 
um, I think just a few meters uh, before the brake was there, where you turn into the service road, I realized it a bit late, but the brakes are on spot when I just uh, braked it. It also has the ABS, the both. Uh... Yeah, and you don't feel a difference in the ABS. It, it okay. brakes like a normal bike, okay. but it stops really quick. Uh, you won't even notice that the ABS is actually working over there. So that's uh, another plus point of the bike that I uh, see. So any negative points that you see with the bike as of now? Uh, the initial impression and... A couple uh, of uh, uh, things maybe I'm expecting too much. Uh -huh. Not sure. Uh -huh. But on the Boozer, we can see which gear you're in. Okay, gear shifter. Uh, so the gear number is displayed. It was not here. Uh -huh. So sometimes I was left searching. I was at 40 in the sixth gear. Uh -huh. And I was wondering, am I in the right gear? <laughs> so usually in the bigger bikes, you can see your gear and you can shift down. Correct. Uh, it's a quick way to shift. Mm -hmm. uh, and this display, maybe uh, this display uh, the smaller a one. little uh -huh. slightly elevated or the angle uh -huh. could be different okay. so that it's you, you can just look down uh -huh. and when you just look down, you can uh, see it uh, much easily. Correct. Right now when you're sitting, yeah. uh, what With the helmets is, and jackets, it's quite difficult. Yeah, so you have to see. bend your head down. Mm -hmm. Typically, you would not want to do that when you're riding. Mm -hmm. You should just be able to glance and mm -hmm. you should be able to see this. <laughs> That's one. Mm. This display mm -hmm. looks really beautiful when we are parked mm -hmm. and in the night. Correct. When it's hot on the sun like today, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult to read. Mm -hmm. So there were some times I didn't know whether I was within speed limit. I was feeling it a bit difficult and awkward. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was one of the uh, things that I would love Bajaj to improve on. So I rode about 40 kilometers and uh, it's very smooth. Now, a couple of things I think we in India would always ask is Kitna Deti hai? So uh -huh. What's the mileage? Correct. Uh, so, that's something that we need to still check on the bike below. So, I think we should do, go and do a test ride on the yes. mileage somewhere. Uh, absolutely. And uh, guys, just watch the channel Bulu Biker next. We'll try to put a you know, mileage review of the bike. <laughs> Carry you. a small bottle with one liter fuel. <laughs> absolutely. You know, when it goes dry for it, we'll try to do something fun like that for yep. you guys. Uh, if, if you're out there planning to buy a bike and mm -hmm. you don't know which one to buy, mm -hmm. you have a budget and you're tied between a Duke 390 and a Domino 400, mm -hmm. please go test ride the bike. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that uh, you may, chances are 60-70% you will sway for the Bajaj Correct. Uh, instead of the KTM. Uh, that's that's my personal feeling. I've ridden the Duke 390. Uh, one of my friend Roshan has it. Mm -hmm. Used it for quite some time, mm -hmm. about 100-120 kilometers. So comparatively, the stance is lower. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the height, you're a short guy like me, mm -hmm. then it's going to be really nice for you. Your feet will be firmly planted on the ground when you're standing. Correct. So you'll feel very comfortable. So that is another added advantage I like. Because in the booze, I sometimes feel it difficult to balance. Mm -hmm. My feet is not flat. On this bike, it is flat. Correct. I have the same issue with the Duke 390 also. Mm -hmm. But uh, luckily, this one is good. So I like that part. Um, what else? Uh, couple of things is headlight oh i love the headlight <laughs> yeah. no i love the headlight especially mm. during the daytime so if so yesterday these guys were out on a ride you would have seen the video on the channel so i was headed back home and they were on the opposite direction i looked at five of them going and then the last bike that caught my eye was a z800 it was a vedans bike so i actually thought all of them were z800 <laughs> running hid and the last one had a halogen and that's why they were looking so different. Uh, but in fact, uh, they were all dominoers. All dominoers. Yeah, the dominoers. Yeah, were... at, at a particular distance, uh, the dominoer and the Z800, I know the guys from Kawasaki are going to kill me for this, <laughs> but then at a distance, near on a high wave, so if this bike goes opposite, you can easily mistake it for a super bike or a super sport. Um, I would rather say a super sport. I don't want the super bikers killing me next. <laughs> so, hey guys, thank you for watching my blog. If you're not subscribed yet, bang. Click on the subscribe button, it's right there. If you want to watch the last two videos that I've uploaded, I put them up here and here. And of course, my favorite playlist, the Superbike Weekend, it's right up here. You can check that out. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out.